Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the relation between the circular correlation and its Fourier transform. So, if the signal uh, n point signal x of n or n point sequence x of n has the dft x of k and then another sequence y of n and another n point sequence y of n has the corresponding dft y of k then the circular correlation is defined as rxy tilde of l equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n multiplied by y of n minus l conjugate and y of n minus l mod n conjugate that is the definition of circular correlation is given by the summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n multiplied by y of n minus l mod n conjugate. So, that is the definition of circular correlation. So, when compared to circular convolution, the key difference here is that y of uh, l minus n becomes y of n minus l mod n. So, that is the reversal of the uh, time coordinate for the second signal and there is extra and there is of course this conjugate and then the dft of this circular correlation that is the circular correlation this sequence has a dft defined by r x y of k till the and the definition of this r x y of k till the is equal to the product of x of k and y of k conjugate. So, that is the definition of the Fourier transform or the DFT of the circular correlation. Now, let us verify the theorem. So, to start with we find we have to compute the IDFT that is inverse discrete Fourier transform of x of k and y of k conjugate because that is the Fourier transform of the circular correlation we start with the IDFT for this proof which is actually easier. So, then by definition should be equal to the summation equal to 1 by n then summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k y of k conjugate and then e power j 2 pi l k by capital N. So, that is the definition of inverse DFT. Now, by using the definitions of x of k and y of k in terms of their original signals, we can rewrite this summation as follows. It is equal to 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1. x of k is again summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by capital N and then y of k conjugate can be written as follows that is summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 y of m conjugate and then e power plus j 2 pi m k by capital N and then of course the final twiddle factor that is e power j 2 pi l k by capital N. So, that is the definition of this IDFT or the expansion for the IDFT. Now, we can rearrange the terms such that uh, we have gather all the exponentials. So, we have the summation 1 by n and then we rearrange the sums that is summation over n equal to 0 to n minus 1 and then summation over m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and then x of n y of m conjugate and then the summation over k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and we gather all the exponentials that is e power j 2 pi and then l plus m minus n into k divided by n. So, that is the uh, basically combination of all the exponential terms. Now, you can see that this summation can be simplified that is as follows. So, uh, let us consider a term a which is equal to let us let us denote this term a as e power j 2 pi l plus m minus n divided by n. So, this is term a then this summation can be written as summation over k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 a power k. So, 
since a is equal to this exponential that summation so that is this summation this summation is simply summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 a power k and this summation is actually going to be equal to capital n if if and only if l plus m minus small n that is l plus m minus n is a multiple of capital n so if this l plus m minus n is a multiple of capital n then this summation is equal to n otherwise it is going to be zero so therefore uh, therefore and this will happen as long as m is equal to n minus l plus p n or in other words m is equal to n minus l mod n so as long as m is equal to n minus l mod n m will be equal to n, n minus l plus p n or l plus m minus n will be equal to p of p into n it is a multiple of n and then this summation becomes capital n so that means that means this summation that is x of n into uh, and then uh, y of m conjugate this basically becomes y of n minus l mod n conjugate and then we will be left with only one summation therefore the idft will be equal to summation one uh, the, the idft will be equal to one by n summation over n x of n and uh, and only at m equal to n minus l mod n uh, we have a value all the other values for m are basically zero so we have we have y of n minus l mod n and then the sum the exponential this sum uh, summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 exponential of j2 pi l plus m minus n into k by capital n that is this summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 a power k is equal to n whenever this is true so this should also be equal to capital n therefore the inverse dft that is nothing but r x y of l tilde that is a circular correlation is defined as summation over n x of n then y of and of course there is a conjugate here so this is y of n minus l mod n conjugate so that is the definition of circular correlation circular correlation so to summarize in this video we have looked at the relation between circular correlation and its fourier transform so that means given two signals are n point sequences x of n and y of n with their corresponding dfts the circular correlation is defined as the summation n equal to 0 to capital n minus 1 x of n y of n minus l mod n conjugate so that is the definition of circular correlation and its fourier transform or the dft is given by the product of x of k and y of k conjugate and we have proven the same thing that is the we start with the idft of this product x of k and y of k conjugate and then we use the definitions of x of k and y of k and then we gather all the exponential terms and then we redefine that sum as summation equal to n whenever this uh, l plus m minus n is equal to a multiple of p of n and the summation is equal to 0 whenever this is not true so basically the both the sums that is the first sum is replaced by n whenever uh, m is equal to n minus l mod n and the second sum or m equal to 0 is also replaced uh, with m is equal to n minus l mod n so uh, that means whenever uh, m is equal to n minus l mod n there is a term otherwise it is equal to uh, we don't have any terms for m so that means this, uh, finally there is only one sum left that is summation over small n so therefore the definition of uh, this circular correlation is given by the summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n y of n minus l modern conjugate thanks for watching